Hi Virgo, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Virgo, this is going to be behind the scenes on your person, all right? So this is really their reading, right? And uh, But you could be showing up kind of, uh, you know, as them sort of, right? Because these can be vice versa readings. Yeah, even in these readings. So let's see what we have for Virgo's person. And let's have a look here. And the bottom of the deck is the Five of Wands. All right, so these people are sitting on the ground here. And there's one victor, right? We know victor to be a winner. I remember when I was a kid, I kind of didn't really, you know, know what victor meant. <laughs> I was pretty little. But this is, the victor is the winner, right? Yeah, uh, that has the victory. And there's only one person standing. I feel like this means that uh, you could be ending competition, or your person is. This is their reading. I beg your pardon. Ending some type of competition. The death card in the reverse. I feel like your person could be uh, maybe laying down a third party. Maybe because something has not ended here. The death card in the reverse. Wow. Or maybe they don't want something to end. So it's going to depend. Maybe it's you who doesn't want something to end. But this looks like third party energy. Sorry to be a damper. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and the Three of Cups, look at that, okay, so I feel like this is a third party, uh, yeah, I feel like it is, it could be a reconciliation, so let's look at their, uh, their current energy right now is, your person's energy is the Six of Pentacles, crossing them, Virgo, is the Two of Pentacles, so this is all about money so far, uh, but it doesn't have to be, but it certainly looks like it, right? And your person's going back and forth about something, right? They can't get out of their head, right? And they could be singing that song, You're just too good to be true, right? This it could be like going back and forth, can't take my eyes off. <laughs> uh, they could be maybe not feeling so good. We're going to find out because this looks like uh, the death card in the reverse doesn't always... Uh, to me, it is not uh, such a good card. Okay, I shouldn't be singing this early in the morning because... Uh, if any of you guys are singers, everybody knows that singers do not sing in the morning. No, because the voice is not opened. Yeah, the throat. Okay, so let's see what we have. And the Page of Wands is going to be in their recent past. This looks like some they walked away. Your person has this Eight of Swords in their block. I mean, I'm sorry, in the, in the root, why it's all happening for them. They're going back and forth about cutting ties either with you or if you are cutting ties with someone else, Virgo, because this death card in the reverse, to me, is some, something's not over here. And I feel like it's a third party right next to the Three of Cups. All right, you guys? Yeah. And what's on their mind is the Five of Swords. Okay, it looks like sabotage, uh, defeat, despair. It's going to depend. And uh, in their near future is the High Priestess. Your person could be Pisces or Scorpio. And uh, right here in their concern, could be a worry, is the Seven of Cups. And in their environment is going to be the Knight of Swords. So we're going to put their desire over here and their outcome. This is kind of how we're going to do it. And we're going to, uh, you know, turn those over in the extended, uh, amongst other things, right? And the extended, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and stream them live on my website. So let's see how that works out because... Uh, a lot of people are, you know, have been had a ha hard time, have had a hard time accessing the extendeds uh, with Vimeo. Yeah, so some for some people it's been friendly, and others it's been gnarly. So let's see what we got. And uh, the bottom of the deck here is the lovers in the reverse. See, this is, uh, I feel like this is about a breakup. I feel like it is. So let's see, let's get a couple of oracle cards so we can keep this kind of... Uh, just kind of interesting, right? This is we, we like to be interesting over here. Yeah, we're a Sag, so you know it's got to be kind of entertaining. I feel like it does. <laughs> so let's see, what we have for uh, Virgo's person, who could be so far the only your person looks like they may be an air sign, Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra, the Knight of Swords, and or they could be Pisces or Scorpio. That's so far, guys. These cards and yeah, these cards are little, you know. The, the reading is very young. So let's see what we have for uh, Virgo's person from the tea leaf, right? Yeah. And we have the wreath card, sorrow over a loss. Yeah. I don't like this card. It's a, it's a beautiful, the wreath, but, you know, when I think of a wreath, I either think of Christmas or a funeral. Okay. <laughs> 
So, you know, the sorrow over a loss, I mean, yeah, your person could be really going through a hard time here. I feel like they are. But let's see. Let's get another card. Maybe you are, right? Yeah. So let's see, because as I said, the reading is young. Let's get a card for Virgo's person. Let's get a card for Virgo's person. We have our all-seeing eye here, Virgo, that my daughter made. So we're really looking in. We're use, really using our third eye here. Yeah, we are. And we have the crystal ball. All right. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See what else we have? The fair man. All right. Somebody could be fair, skinned. Uh, back in the day, fair meant good looking. Okay. But fair really means kind of light skinned. Dealings or relationship with a man, blonde, gray, or white hair. Okay, Virgo. So maybe, you know, this is your person's reading. Maybe this is you. Uh, it could be you, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's see what else. And let's get one more card. It doesn't have to be you guys because these, uh, you know, for some people, of course it is, but, you know, it's, we can't say the whole world is dealing with a fair, a fair skinned man. No, it would be ridiculous, right? And the kangaroo, unsettled times, need to plan ahead. Okay, your person is kind of going through, like, in the in-between. I feel like this is a breakup, okay? Just like I just said, the lover's card was in the reverse. So let's look at their current energy and see what they are kind of up to. They're going back and forth about something. Let's see. They could be concerned about their money, maybe. But uh, let's see. The Eight of Cups. No, they're concerned about walking away. And... Uh, I feel like your person is, uh, they think you're going to walk away. They think it's over. Maybe they are trying to figure out whether they should walk away from you. Let's get a card on the Two of Pentacles. Why do they have that? And the King of Wands. Your person could be uh, Aries Leo or Sag. Or they could be a water sign here. Maybe an air sign. But this, when the King of Wands shows up, or the King of anybody, right, uh, that is typically a person. Sometimes it is behavior or qualities rather okay so let's see i feel like your person is either uh thinking of walking away for a, a fire sign or they could be a fire sign or they think you are a page of cups yeah wow okay this is a love offer i feel like it is and the eight of swords reversed is why it's all happening for them this nine of pentacles yeah your person thinks they're either thinking of walking away from you and being becoming single here mm-hmm and or they think you are doing this as i've been saying right and the page of wands with the sun this is in the recent past Mm-hmm. i feel like your person got clarity mm-hmm on the the clarity on the page of wands and if you guys can see the camera here the or the video rather this man is walking away and the sun card is very much about uh, clarity in the in astrology. Yes, it is. Yeah, I'm studying astrology now, and I yes, it totally is. I mean, we know that Leo. You know, there could be a Leo here. We know that Leo rules this card, but it is very much about clarity and shining the light on things. Right? Things are uh, out in the light now. Mm -hmm. I feel like your person got clarity in the recent past. That. They, maybe they were looking for their clarity, but it is all about clarity. I feel like your person is like becoming single right now, and as they are walking away here, or as they are like, you know, it looks like as they are becoming single, they're wondering if you're going to get back together with somebody, or uh, I, that could be the case here, all right? Three of Swords, yeah. See, this is a healing. This is a Three of Swords uh, with the bandage on the heart, right? Swords are out like a healing. Mm -hmm. And what's on their mind, Virgo, is the Queen of Cups and the Five of Swords. I feel like this is sabotage. I feel like they feel like you are sabotaging the union, and they need to go solo. Mm -hmm. And this Queen of Cups is Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, and this is probably them right here in their near future where they have the Ten of Cups and the Tower. Okay, so this looks like an ending to a family dynamic or a happily ever after, right? Wow, they could be Scorpio here uh, because the Tower is Scorpio and the Death card is right over here. But this person, I feel like uh, for many of you, there is a third party here with a Queen of Cups and a King of Wands. And in their... Concern could be thought about as a worry, right? It depends how much you are concerned. 
right? See? Queen of Swords. This could be Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra, but I feel like it is your person here. Uh, it could be them just discerning the matter. I feel like they uh, are kind of, uh, you know, really going deep here about whether or not you are maybe exploring your options. I feel like that's it. Or their options. The Empress, see? It's about a third-party Empress. Somebody passionate, apasionada, <laughs> and somebody sexy, and somebody you could think is like your queen, or they think is their queen. But your person, for me, uh, when they have this card, sorrow over a loss, I feel like your person is the one who is being left behind, or they think they should go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And in their environment, let's get a card, the Knight of Swords is in their environment. The Judgment card. And the Two of Swords. Your person doesn't know what to do. They think you're cutting them out. Or they think they need to cut you out because of a rebirth over here, Judgment. And this could just be feeling really blocked by it all, right? Doesn't always know, you know, like, doesn't mean I don't know what to do. Uh, although the Two of Swords, um, you know, in many cases is a stalemate. They could feel blocked. The two men are holding the swords and they're blocking this woman. Her blindfold is on like she, you know. Yeah, so let's get one more card. Why is the Two, why are, why is the two of Swords there? Ten of Swords reversed. Yeah, your person, I feel like they think you're going to go ahead and rebuild with somebody else. This Empress right here. Yeah, I feel like that's the case. So we're going to find out in the extended all about your person, Virgo. If the reading is, uh, if the reading is switched, uh, all the more interesting, I feel like, you know, you guys. So let's see. We're going to find out what they really want, their desires, and their outcome. And we have a new uh, extended over there. Yeah, we do. And that extended reading is going to be, let's see, we're going to talk about, uh, I actually forget what that extended reading is, but uh, it's going to be uh, more exciting than the lab, than the ones I've been doing. Yeah, I've kind of switched it up, uh, kind of forgot right here, but the extended reading is going to talk about, uh, like, the actions your person's going to take, right, and the future for both of you, mm-hmm. Could be also uh, kind of like really what's uh, on their mind and uh, what they feel like they need to do. So thank you so much, guys. There's more to the extended uh, than just that. I just I'm not looking at it right now. Beg, I beg your pardon. They're all super affordable, you guys. So you can uh, cross watch all of them. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. I do appreciate you guys. All right. Thank you so much, guys.